Hi, this is Rob. We're going to find the intersection point of two lines, linear equations, using the TI-84 plus CE graphing calculator. Depending on the problem, we may have to do part of the problem by hand to simplify the equations and change the equations into a format for graphing. But the graphing of the problem and finding the intersection of the two lines will do in the TI-84 plus CE. For example, this problem. We have two lines also known as linear equations. 2x plus 2y equals 6 and 3x minus 2y equals 4. These equations are written in standard format, but the format we want for graphing the lines is this format of y equals mx plus b. The first step is to simplify the equations if needed. Let's start with this equation, 2x plus 2y equals 6. I think you can see we can divide both sides by the equation by 2. On the left side of the equation, we have this. The 2's cancel each other. And on the right side of the equation, the 2 goes into the 6 three times. Now we have this equation, x plus y equals 3. Let's put this into the y equals mx plus b format. Subtract a x from both sides. We now have this y equals 3 minus x. Rearrange the 3 and the minus x. We have the first equation in the graphing format of y equals mx plus b. Now let's work with the second equation. Take a minus 3x on both sides. We now have this equation. Divide both sides by negative 2. So that gives us y equals negative 2 plus 3 over 2x. Rearrange the equation. That gives us y equals 3 over 2x minus 2. We now have both equations in the format y equals mx plus b. We need this format to graph both equations in the TI-84. Let's enter the two equations into the TI-84. Press the y equals key here. If you have an equation from a previous problem, press the clear button here. Now enter the first equation, which was y equals negative x plus 3. For a negative number, make sure you use the negative key here and not the minus key. Enter a x, the x button is here, plus 3. Go down to y2. Enter the second equation, which was y equals 3 over 2x minus 2. Put parentheses around the 3 over 2, x minus 2. Now to graph these two linear equations, press the graph button here. There is our two lines grafted. To get the exact intersection point, press the second button here and then the trace button, which is also the calc button. This window pops up. Go down to number 5, intersect. Press the enter button. At the bottom, the TI-84 will ask us three questions. We are going to forget about these questions and press the enter button again. There is our second question. Press the enter button again. Our third question, guess. We are not going to guess the intersection point for this problem. Press the enter button again. There, that is our intersection point of the two lines, x equals 2 and y equals 1. I'm going to escape out of this graph by pressing the second button and this mode button, which is also the quit button. We are back at the home screen. Sometimes when you are graphing equations, your graphing window may be out of whack. For example, here this graphing window is too zoomed in. There are a few things to do to adjust the graphing window. One thing is to adjust the graphing window. Press the zoom button here. This window pops up. Go down to number 6, Z standard. C standard will reset the window. Press the Enter button. Now the window is reset. If this does not help your equations, there are other things to do to adjust the window. Press the Zoom button here. Go up to zero. 
zoom fit, press the enter button. The TI-84 tries to fit the important parts of the graph in the graphing window. Other things you can do to adjust the graphing window, press the window button here. This window pops up. You can adjust the amount of tick marks on the X and Y axis that show in the window. The X min is the number of tick marks on the negative X axis. The X max is the number of tick marks on the positive X axis. The X scale is what each tick mark represents. In this case, each tick mark equals one unit. The same goes for the Y min, the Y max, and the Y scale. I'm going to change the X max to five and then press the graph button to show our new graph window. Now you can see we have five tick marks on the positive X axis and still have two and a half tick marks on the negative X axis. I will press the window button again and we'll add more tick marks on the negative Y axis. Go down to the Y min and change this to negative 10.5. Then press the graph button again. And there is our graph on the new graphing window. Another thing you can do is to add grid lines to your graphing window. To add grid lines, press the second button, then zoom button, which is also the format button. This window pops up. We want to move the cursor here, grid line. Then press the enter button. Now we'll press the graph button here. There, you can see the grid lines on the graphing window. Okay, that is it. That is how to find the intersection point of two lines on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.